Hey dudes, what's going on? It's another Tuesday. I'm the Daily Critics. My name is Simon. Catch on the channel, Simon Wizard 91. And I'm doing a sort of uh, series here of comic book movies that I thought just didn't cut the mustard. And here I'm with uh, the most obvious of those movies, which is, of course, Ghost Rider. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Ghost Rider, I think, came out in 2006. Stars Nicolas Cage for some reason. And a bunch of other actors that I can't think or can be bothered to remember. Uh, the basic premise of the story is uh, Satan. He has a series of riders, ghost riders, uh, if you must. And uh, well, their job is they go out and they get like souls for the devil to take down hell and stuff like that. And uh, one of the last ghost riders, he uh, was when he got sent to collect the scroll that had a whole bunch of evil souls in it. And you knew if the devil ever got a hold of these souls, that. Uh, It'd be the end of the day, as if you know what I'm talking about. So, he hides it. He runs away from the devil and he hides the scrolls. And, uh, Nicolas Cage, he plays a stunt driver called, uh, Johnny, Johnny Blaze? Johnny Blaze? I think that's his name. I can't even fucking remember, dude. It's, he's played, yeah. And, <laughs> um, he, he's, he may accidentally makes a deal with the devil when he's, a, like, a little bit of a younger kid and he becomes a new ghost rider and he just gets asked to try and beat these dudes who will come back for the scroll and blah 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 it's uh... it's not a great story so this movie is all about uh... Nicolas Cage coming to terms with the fact that he's a new, new ghost rider and then trying to uh, get with a girl who he had to abandon when he became the old ghost when he fought, when he signed the deal with the devil and he was trying to escape because he knew that he could never love anyone all this shit, and I just gotta say, man, this movie is just fucking pants. It's god awful. The acting is fucking terrible, especially the main villain. The main villain, the acting in that was just like, oh, every single line he said was a face palm, and he was just such a smug prick, but he pulled it off in a way that was just like, oh, dude, just give up. Just fucking give up this film. Ah, oh, the acting. Nicholas Cage. He's he like sometimes he's a really good actor, but he is a good actor. But he gets too into it and you, he does overacting like a motherfucker. In this movie, it's no exception. Like when he when he finally starts turning into the Ghost Rider, he does that classic Nick Cage crazy screaming where he's like laughing and he's in pain at the same time. And <laughs> he's done it in a whole bunch of films. You know where he's like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Where it's like, dude, if you override it anymore, you're gonna fucking explode. Uh, the computer graphics on the Ghost Rider weren't that great. Like, they were kind of in between being great and not being great. Uh, the sequences where he was the Ghost Rider were very much um, in the spirit of the original comic book, which was good, but there was just too little scene. It was too little too late for this movie. So the characters are unbelievable and uh, you don't really feel what they're feeling so badly acted. The, the, the film itself is very s slow and meandering. Not a lot goes on. Like, I've said a lot of shit about the other films, like The Hulk and Daredevil and stuff like that, but this one really does just take the shit biscuit out of the pot and rubs it all over your face. Don't watch this movie. Uh, there's a new one coming out in 2012, uh, Spirit of Vengeance or something like that. And uh, excuse me, uh, they cast Nicolas Cage again, so let's hope this one doesn't suck ass. I would say normally if there's a bad movie, I say if you're in, in the mood for something brainless and something uh, that, you, that you're not really have to pay attention to, then watch this. But don't watch this movie. Don't do it. Watch Spider-Man instead. That's brainless. But entertaining nonetheless. I'm Simon, you can catch on the channel Star Wars 91. This is Tuesday, I will see you next week. I might even review a DC movie. I'm not done with this uh, squeaky chair. Ooh. I'm not done with the series yet, uh, there's plenty more movies to do. So I'll see you next week, and um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm getting an Evil Dead 2 tattoo done in two days. Just sick, I'll show you next week. Uh, so you're like, oh, motherfuckers, don't watch Ghost Rider or else I will kill you. Motherfucker!